This is a paper we recently published uh, led by Dr. Paul Chapman at our group. Um, you know, our group has been really interested in the obviously discontinuation of checkpoint blockade for responders, but a big corollary question to that is, what do we do for the patients who recur or later progress even you know, down the road? Um, and so unfortunately, we're still at a time where we have really limited options post you know, checkpoint progression for melanoma. In many patients, we do consider you know, re-induction with checkpoint blockade. Um, and really, you know, these data really suggest, while again, small numbers, um, you know, in line with what we have seen previously from the Menzies group and others, that reinduction with IPI plus NEVO, even in responders, um, you know, really is not all that effective. Um, you know, 20, 23% response rate in those patients. And so, you know, I think this just again argues that we really need to keep looking for new options, right? That while IPI plus NEVO has made such a splash and, you know, obviously tremendously changed our field, it is not the end all and be all of treatment options for metastatic melanoma. Um, I think the other very interesting thing that emerged from those data were similar to what we had seen with PD-1 retreatment in the past in our previous JCO paper. There were patients who did not respond to an initial course who did respond to reinduction, um, arguing that we have a lot to learn about the tumor microenvironment and what changed between those two treatments. Um, but that, you know, if you aren't sure what to do with a patient, you don't have a good clinical trial option. It is not you know, unreasonable to try IPI plus NEVO in these patients, uh, even if they did not have an initial response.